we've gotten some new information pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and Star Citizen Beta 1.0. Let's get into this video before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for the morai pulse in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of today which is june 30th let's get into this video all right guys um so we've gotten um some more information in the latest bar citizen this time around it was at china shanghai okay so and uh, there was a few questions that were asked that kind of revealed a little bit more information pertaining to what we can expect in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 and 1.0. To start things off, they, they did get into some questions in terms of localization for, uh, for the Chinese language. And they intend to also deploy um, servers um, within um, that, that, uh, that side of the world where they can also support the players over there so they can have local servers and get better performance so they're looking to work uh, uh with uh, some chinese companies uh, to do that so um, to get into the gameplay information um it looks like uh there they mentioned that there will be fishing so it seems like that's a question that somebody asked and they said that there will be fishing in the game but uh it's not in the short term so um there is a notion out there that cig have told us that they want to also give uh the option for players to to stay planet side if they choose not to if they don't want to fly ships they can stay planet side and have enough content on a planet to be worthwhile so um fishing is one of those things farming is one of those things um even um the the notion of cargo delivery um not by ships but also probably by land vehicles i think could be a good thing that they could add um moving items from a landing zone to a major landing zone to an outpost outpost to a major landing zone um outpost to outpost um and and players can get paid doing that especially when they add base building into the mix as well that will be pretty cool okay so um yeah it's something i look forward to fishing uh those that like the low-key lifestyle in the game all right so the next one says um 4.0 will include more creatures also in 1.0 like i said since uh 3.23 which was the verse uh creatures that we've seen with the may rock and the copian um we i said that they will be adding new creatures every patch i wouldn't be surprised if there are new creatures in 3.24 to be quite honest um, but 4.0 for sure. So it says here, um, there will be a full ecosystem from predator to herbivores. So I think, um, that's probably the intention for 1.0. Um, and, uh, it'll be interesting. Will these creatures hunt each other, right? Will will the predators hunt the herbivores and, and we'll be able to see it. That would be pretty cool as well. But yeah, that's, that's interesting. And, um, so up next, it says, chris wants to say there is a place in pyro there was a certain gunsmith that makes more effective fps weapons you have to go to the person to buy it from there and make the journey and take the risk to do it interesting so they intend to have locations that you need to know how to get there so i believe it shouldn't be a quantum beacon for you to just jump directly there you just have to know how to get there you just have to know how to get there um for it to be worthwhile right and the risk of it being in pyro as soon as you land you're at risk right so um but i like the notion of having certain gunsmiths in the pu that you can go to to get a certain specialized weapon you know so from what what they said with this it seems like there will be weapons that you will get at the regular gun shop and there will be better ones of the same weapon type that you will have to go to a gunsmith to get a, a better version of that weapon so it's, it seems like they will be adding attributes to the weapons themselves like damage uh, multipliers on the weapons based on what they're saying here okay it continues to say there is actually a sense of accomplishment to get the weapon and that's the overall principle it says that they want they want people to physically go to places and interact with the people there to get the things that they are looking for okay so 
that's gonna be pretty cool that's gonna be pretty good i like the idea of that elite dangerous has a similar thing it's called engineers you you need to know where they are go there and get modded versions of weapons equipment components and things of that nature so i think that's a great move up next it says the weapons and equipment in the game will be giving more freedom I'm not sure what that means but it says their plans will be connected to the reputation system players need to gain enough reputation and favor through contracts and intermediaries to unlock weapon smiths so even if you make it to the weapon smith you need to have the right reputation with the right faction to be able to purchase from that weapon smith that is fantastic so um this will add to the um just another way another thing to grind for or another goal to obtain in the game um, right now what's lacking in star season is the fact that we don't have any um, larger or overarching goal um, right now it's just ships right now so it's kind of boring you lose especially ships that we've flown in the past and previous patch cycles it's i don't have the motivation to keep playing really so um, hopefully with 4.0 and 1.0 we can see we can have larger goals to obtain it and just little things like this add to it okay so it also continues to say become a seller and sell these weapons in the universe to gain more sense of achievement so imagine having access to a gunsmith you rank up right you rank up and have access to the gunsmith you buy guns from the gunsmith and you being a seller and then you can sell it to other players for a markup that's a cool idea that's what i'm getting from this right so that's that's a cool idea right especially with ships like the drake uh the drake kraken uh ships like the bmm whenever it does come out to be able to sell things to other players um that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and with with 3.24 with them adding the ability it seems like there's an ability to put furniture inside of uh your ships so um, I've seen a player put a, a a seat inside of a ship and it snaps to it. So that will give you the ability to set up like a little shop inside of a big ship. Like maybe like a C2 or something like that. And people, you will land, people will come in. They'll have your little storefront inside of the C2. <laughs> and they come and they say, hey, this is what I want. And then you can give it to them. And, you know, you'll have security on board to make sure everything goes well. And that's a pretty cool thing. So... Um, really exciting stuff okay so next it says there's some ship questions that they also have here it says um the answers that they have for these ones it says every ship will be renovated in 1.0 gold standard it also says every ship will be reevaluated at many factors that decide which ones get renovated first interesting starter ships like the aurora and mustang will be improved one of the oldest ships, Aurora and Mustang, are some of the oldest ships in the game. They do need an improvement. Cannot wait to see how they look. The RSI Polaris Gray Box review uh, will be next week. And it says dedicated torpedo station for the torpedoes. So no torp control in the pilot seat, which is something that they've they've always told us. You'll need you you definitely need a, a group of players to run a Polaris. And last but not least, the Nautilus and the BMM are not in production. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.